Waka Cultural Landscape. The walk is a stretch of the Danube located between Milk and Krems, which demonstrates high visual and landscape qualities. It showcases many intact and visible traces of its continuous, organic evolution since prehistoric times, be it in terms of architecture, monasteries, castles, ruins, urban design, towns and villages, or agricultural use, mainly for the cultivation of vines and apricot trees. The clearing of the natural forest by local peoples began in the Neolithic period, although radical changes in the landscape did not take place until around 800, when the Bavarian and Salzburg monasteries began to cultivate the slopes of the Waka, creating the present-day landscape pattern of the vine terraces. In the centuries that followed, the acreage under cultivation fluctuated, under the influence of changes in climate and the wine market, acute labor shortages followed by wage increases in the 17th century. In the 18th century, hillside viticulture was actively promoted in ecologically optimal regions. The other areas were turned into pastures, which bore economic consequences such as the closing of some enterprises and the growth of others. It was at this time that viticulture was finally abandoned in the upper stretches of the Waka, and the development of the countryside in the 19th century had particularly far-reaching consequences for the Waka. The ratio of acreages used for viticulture or as orchards, which continues to be closely linked with fluctuations in the market for both kinds of products, lends the Waka its characteristic appearance. The basic layouts of Waka towns date back to the 11th and 12th centuries. The development of the settlements with their homogeneous character becomes evident in the town structures, both in the fabric and arrangement of the houses on mostly irregular lots and in the street patterns, which have remained practically unchanged since the late Middle Ages. Some town centers have been somewhat extended on their outer fringes by the construction of small residential buildings, mostly from 1950 onwards. The buildings in Waka towns date from more recent periods than the street plans. In the 15th and 16th centuries, stone construction began to replace the wooden peasant and burgher houses. The wine growers' farmsteads, which are oblong and either U-shaped, L-shaped, or consisting of two parallel buildings, date back to the late Middle Ages and the 16th-17th centuries. Most of these feature lateral gate walls or integrated vaulted passages, service buildings and smooth facades which for the most part were altered from the 18th and 19th centuries onwards. Street fronts are often accentuated by late and post-medieval or eels on sturdy brackets, statues in niches, wall paintings and scraffito work, remnants of paintings or rich baroque facades. The steeply pitched, towering hip roof occurs so frequently that it can be regarded as an architectural characteristic of the walk house. Many 18th century buildings such as taverns or inns, stations for changing draft horses, boat operators and toll houses, mills, smithies, or salt storehouses, frequently dating back to the 15th and 16th centuries, still serve trade and craft purposes and are partly integrated into town structure. A number of castles dominate the towns in the Danube Valley, and many architecturally and artistically significant ecclesiastical buildings dominate both the townscapes and landscapes.